Now, Rocky. and threatening to reveal the truth about Chef Edward did the trick. Now let's see who this red ghost really is. Noseworthy. No, Scooby. Mr. Noseworthy helped us shut down the drone, remember? Oh, yeah. Uh, Chef Sue? What? No, of course not. Chef Sue may be tough, but she's not great. Singer man is right. Chef Sue, innocent. <laughs> what? Does he can cook? That's something. So if it isn't Noseworthy or Chef Sue, and it isn't Skip Taylor... Wait a minute, I was the suspect? For a little bit. If it isn't them, then who is it? The person who was controlling the Red Ghost drone from his smartphone throughout his stay here. Bradley Blass, the real estate investor. Of course. No wonder he wanted those parchment papers so badly. Papers that prove that Chef Edward Dufle, the hero of Newport Cove, wasn't a patriot at all, but a spy for the British. <gasps> you see, Blass was in a bind. He wanted to buy the inn cheap, but he didn't want to damage Dufle's reputation and keep tourists away. So he thought the Red Ghost Scare would motivate me to sell. But he was just trading one set of bad news for another. Oh, and I'm not really Elton John. I'm TV's Skip Taylor. Your history's greatest monster. Oh, you're oh, my life. Life. Oh, we don't know. You can't sing! If Blast wanted to run this place, why scare all the tourists away? As someone who studies real estate transactions in her spare time, I can tell you that's weird. Because, Miss De Laurentiis, this man is not in real estate, or even named Bradley Blass. Well, of course that's my name. This is preposterous! Henry Metcalf. The historian. Metcalf spent his life building a career around the story of Chef Edward as the hero of Newport Cove. But at some point, he must have stumbled upon the truth. But he couldn't let it get out. The Duflay myth built this town, its families, and his own life's work. He needed to protect it. Somewhere in his research, he must have found evidence that the Noseworthies were right and that Edward Duflay was a traitor. And when he heard Chef Edward's descendant, Bobby Flay, was coming to town and restoring the place, he became frightened. Metcalf, like Noseworthy, believed the legend that, hidden in the inn, there was a set of personal papers written in Duflay's hand that would incriminate him. So it would only be a matter of time before someone found them. But what Metcalf didn't know, thanks to some 18th century invisible spy tactics, was that the handwritten personal papers were the very stack of parchment sheets Metcalf himself gave Bobby. Not until I overheard you kids in the kitchen. He didn't want his life's work to be in service to a turncoat. So he brought the Red Ghost to life to scare away guests, close the inn, and keep the secret. And I would have gotten away with it, too, if it weren't for you. Hold on. We're not quite there yet. There's one piece of information that even you don't know, Henry. And it's something I think Bobby, Fred, and the people of Newport Cove deserve to hear. I did a more in-depth analysis of our cookie parchment, and I believe when we analyze the rest, we'll come to the same conclusion. You see, by studying the history books, we know exactly where General Washington's troops were and how they moved when this was written. But that's not what Chef Edward wrote here. The information here, which was to be passed on to a British soldier or spy, is false. 